Hello everyone and welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about wrestling again. Now I know it's been a long time since I made a wrestling video, but recently I went back and noticed that my rant on wrestling actually got over a thousand views, which I was surprised because I was under the impression nobody would care about that. But since there's been some drama going on recently with wrestling, I'd come back and talk about it, and as I said in that older video, I am willing to carry on the good work of the Smart Busters. And if you people like these wrestling videos, I'll absolutely make more and continue speaking the truth about the wrestling product. But what I want to talk about is my recent new favorite wrestler, Lars Sullivan, got in some drama and all over some, and I'm really can emphasize this enough, I know you can't see them, but racism in air quotes, I cannot stress this enough, somehow one dug up some tweets, I mean not even tweets, they dug up some comments on a bodybuilding forum from like almost a decade ago. Like when he was like still, like he looked like he was still in his 20s when he made these and he's in his 30s now. But anyway, so he made some comments and everybody's calling him a racist over it. I looked into it and these comments are not even racist and I'm over here like, do you fucking smarks even know what racism is? Because, okay, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. In one of his posts, he commented how... Black people today like to bank on the misfortune of their great-great-grandparents that actually experienced slavery so they can get victim points. Okay, how is that wrong exactly? Like, Lars Sullivan is not wrong. A lot of black people today, and it's not even like a thing with black people, it's just like a thing with people in this generation altogether. They like to be victims for some reason. They'll look for any excuse to make themselves victims, even making up some fake gender, or pretending to be transgender, or transracial, or whatever the fuck, just so they can get sweet, sweet victim points. How is that racist? What is exactly wrong with that statement? Lars Sullivan is not exactly wrong there. He is absolutely correct. A lot of black people do do that. So where's the racism? How, like uh, Racism is believing that you as a race are superior and other races are beneath you. What is racist about that statement? He's just simply pointing out a fact. This is the mentality a lot of young people have in this generation. Like, okay, so here is another one. So he brought up how to how immigrants today, he didn't even mention any specific race. He just said immigrants, illegal immigrants in general. He said that illegal immigrants, when they hear that our land is the land of the free, all they hear is free stuff. Once again, they are not, he's not exactly wrong. That is absolutely a mentality that illegal immigrants have today. They come to this country because they want all the sweet, sweet government benefits. You can even look into it. There are so many, there is a high percentage of illegal immigrants that are on welfare, okay? And Democrats support open immigration and they support illegal immigration because they want the votes of these illegal immigrants. That's all they see when they see these immigrants. They just see them as votes. Again, what is racist about that statement? Illegal immigrants is not a fucking race. Stop thinking that illegal immigrants is a race. Anyone can be an illegal immigrant. I can be an illegal immigrant. You can be an illegal immigrant. All it takes to be an illegal immigrant is for you to go into a country that you do not belong to and don't gain citizenship. If I moved to Japan and I did not do the proper paperwork, I did not gain citizenship, if I went into Japan illegally, I would be an illegal immigrant. It's not racist. 
illegal immigrant is not a racist thing because anyone can be one. So once again, smarts, what the fuck are you talking about that this man is racist? Like, okay, here's some other statements. He said that KFC is for the poor and that Kofi Kingston and R-Truth look like they b belong in a prison gang. Okay, that's the closest thing you have to a racist statement, and even then, it's more likely that that was just a joke at the expense of R-Truth and Kofi Kingston, who, in real life, they're absolute goofballs. Like, if you see R-Truth and Kofi Kingston, they are complete goofballs. They have been comedy jobbers their whole career, so he made a joke that you have these two African-American men who are complete goofballs, mind you, even though they look like they, they would be in a prison gang. Like, that's not exactly racist. Like, if anything, at best, that's a stereotype. But stereotypes are hardly racist. They're more of just minor annoyances, if anything else. But even if I do give you the benefit of the doubt and say that, oh, well, him making a joke about a, a stereotype with two black wrestlers is racist, okay, that's one statement, and even then these statements were made a long-ass time ago, and even then he apologized. So what the fuck is the problem here, people? And I just... I, I really don't get you smarts. Like, you, you are always willing to just, like, throw these terms out. Like, what... If WWE had any common sense, they would use this to get Lars Sullivan heat and push him. If WWE, if you find this video, please don't listen to the smarts. These are the people that are killing your ratings, WWE. They are the reason why you are losing money. Think about it. Ever since you started pushing the wrestlers that the smarts want, like Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, and Finn Balor, your ratings have been an absolute disaster. You are losing money. You are losing longtime fans. You have a chance here, okay? You have a chance to create another Brock Lesnar. You have a chance to create another legitimate wrestler. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that he'll be a star because I'm not a fucking smart, but you have a chance to create a legit wrestler here. Don't blow it just because of these overly sensitive pussies, okay? What you, what you fail to understand is these sensitive, thin-skinned PC losers, they think everything is racist. They think everything is sexist. They think that anything that disagrees with their beliefs is racist, sexist, homophobic, you name it. Like, they're calling Lars Sullivan sexist and homophobic, even though he has said nothing racist, even though he said nothing that's sexist or homophobic. So please, WWE, I'm begging you, don't listen to the smarts. Push Lars Sullivan. He did nothing wrong, okay? Even if I gave you the benefit of the doubt and said that these statements were racist, Here's what you people need to understand. There's this thing called freedom of speech, okay? Your neighbor's rights don't end where your feelings begin. You don't get to just fire somebody or lock them up because you don't like what they say. You don't just fire someone because they say something distasteful. And even then, these statements aren't even fucking racist. Lars Sullivan is speaking the truth. This is why I like Lars Sullivan. He speaks his mind. He speaks the truth. He's not a PC, overly sensitive pussy. Seriously, can you people get a fucking life? Why are you watching wrestling? Do you not know that WWE has always been lowbrow entertainment? It's not supposed to be family friendly. It's not supposed to be PC. It's supposed to be lowbrow, just big men, just beating the sh big badass men, beating the shit out of each other in badass storylines with half-naked women looking sexy. That's wrestling. 
and whether that's politically correct or not is irrelevant. Because back in the day, when wrestling was actually wrestling, before this fucking PG era, that was when they drew money. That's when they drew ratings, okay? WWE used to draw sevens in the ratings. They were the big dog. Like, everyone likes to, like, make excuses that, oh, well, the WWE ratings are bad. It's because of football. It's because of the Olympics. It's because of this. It's because of that. No. It's not because of that. Back in the day, WWE used to be the show. Everyone's like, ah, shit. We gotta compete with Raw, that company that gets sevens in the ratings. How are we gonna beat that? That was WWE back in the day. But now, the ratings are in the ones, and they are still tanking. None of your fucking indie schmucks are doing anything for the ratings. Sami Zayn, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, fucking Ricochet. None of these guys have talent. None of them have charisma. And you can't tell me what's good about these guys. I can tell you what's good about Lars Sullivan, okay? He is larger than life. He does cool power moves. He has charisma. He has a presence to him. When I look at Lars Sullivan, I think that guy is a wrestler and he would kick my fucking ass if I fucked with him. When I see Kevin Owens, all I think is, oh, excuse me, sir, can you unlock the video games for me? Or when I see Sami Zayn, all I think is, oh, hey, sir, can you give me a ride in your cab? Because you look like a fucking cab driver. None of these guys draw ratings. However, they have a chance with Lars Sullivan to get some ratings back. But you smarks don't care about that. I guarantee you that if Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, or Shinsuke Nakamura made these comments, you wouldn't give two fucks. Here's what it comes down to. You smarks don't like Lars Sullivan. You've always hated real wrestlers because you used to do the same shit with Ryback, Goldberg, you name it. You even booed The Rock out of the building at the 2015 Royal Rumble because you were mad that your precious little midget fucking goat didn't win the Rumble because you have no respect for legends. So please, Smarks, shut the fuck up. All you SJW losers, shut up. Lars Sullivan is not racist. These statements are not racist. Lars Sullivan is a badass. Lars Sullivan is a real wrestler, and deep down inside, you know that. And you know that he will almost immediately steal the spotlight from your fucking indie losers because nobody cares about them. Do you not understand that the indies is the indies for a reason? Okay, these are the same shows that barely sell out like 10,000 seat arenas, okay? Okay, you have fucking TNA where AJ Styles and Samoa Joe and Bobby Roode all came from. That was the show that was so bad they couldn't even draw ones in the ratings and they got thrown off of Spike TV. Do you know how fucking shitty you have to be to be thrown off of Spike TV? Do you not understand that? And you want, and you bring in the face of TNA, and then you wonder why the ratings are bad. Like, as bad as WWE's ratings are, WWE still draws better ratings than TNA. That's how much that company sucks. So, I ask you, Smarks, or any of you that think that Lars Sullivan is racist, what in those statements were racist? Please. Explain it to me, because I read them. Where is the racism? I don't fucking see it. I don't see the racism. It looks to me like you are just getting your panties in a wad over nothing. So just stop. And if you don't like that, guess what? That's what real wrestling is about. Edgy, lowbrow content. Not fucking family friendly PG bullshit. People hate that shit. People love edgy content. Okay? Like, 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 just look 
at almost any successful TV show or movie. It's not family friendly. It has edge to it. Like, look at the angry video game nerd. He is one of the most famous and beloved YouTubers of all time. And he is extremely vulgar. He is extremely lowbrow. And he's not afraid to offend people. And everyone loves the AVGN. He has millions of loving fans. He's fucking incredible. He's entertaining. He has character. He has charisma. Something that your indie schmucks don't have. That's what gets ratings. Having character. Having charisma. And being entertaining. Family friendly. 45 minute matches with midgets hugging each other. Doesn't draw ratings. People don't want to see that. That is not entertaining to a heterosexual male. The only people who could possibly find that shit entertaining of your little 45 minute matches of people hugging each other are gay people. And before you say anything, I'm a trap and I can say all the shit I want about gay people and you can't give me any shit about it. So don't you even come at me thinking I'm homophobic because I'm a fucking trap. So don't even try it. I'm going to shut that shit down right the fuck now. So, yeah. I just... It, it's so sad that this is happening to Lars Sullivan. He's finally debuting. And his debut gets ruined by these fucking thin-skinned pussies. These people really need to learn how to grow thicker skin. Like, like, it, like, it's gotten so bad that I recently got thrown out of a community on Facebook because I was, and I shit you not, rude. Oh yes, because I had the audacity to say the word stupid. That warranted me getting thrown out of an entire community. That's how sensitive these people are. The, please, the, you people need to grow some thicker skin. Why do you think I don't hold back on my channel? I'm edgy. I don't hold back because I treat my audience like adults. I don't treat them like a bunch of thin-skinned pussies that can't handle a fucking joke. You need to start living in the real world. In the real world, there are no safe spaces. In the real world, you are going to hear shit that you disagree with, and you have to deal with it. So... Just, it pisses me off so much because I've been looking forward to Lars Sullivan's debut for a long time because he has some promise. Like, almost every other wrestler I like has been ruined, okay? I liked the Ascension. They ruined them. I liked Braun Strowman. They ruined him. And they're doing absolutely nothing with Aleister Black. Ryback is gone. Like, who do you have? Like, okay, you have one credible champion left, and that's John Cena, and he's not doing anything, and people still hate John Cena anyway. Please, WWE, I beg you, don't fire Lars Sullivan. Don't de-push him. Give him a push. He deserves it, WWE, please. And one more thing, Smarks. I keep seeing these morons that keep saying, Oh, well, no wonder Lars Sullivan has been attacking our truth okay? WWE is fake! Why don't you smarts understand that? WWE is fucking fake! It is a scripted show! Everything is scripted! It's not fucking real! Lars Sullivan is not attacking our truth because he's black! He's a it's because it's what the show is scripting him to do. When wrestlers debut, they start out by squashing jobbers typically. And rather you like it or not, our truth is a jobber. He is doing his fucking job. He is supposed to get beat up and make Lars Sullivan look good. That is what jobbers do. So please, shut the fuck up, you wrestling inept 
retards stop watching wrestling because you don't understand a single thing about wrestling you actually think that wrestling is real you actually think that wrestling is supposed to be about great feats of athleticism no it's not when you do that that's how you end that's how people end up dying do you not understand that Masawa is dead that's what happens when you try to make wrestling real okay strong style is bullshit nobody cares about fucking strong style that's how you get people killed so please shut the fuck up you wrestling inept smarks you don't know what the fuck you're talking about wrestling is fake everything is scripted Lars Sullivan is not racist against our truth he he's just doing what the fucking script is telling him to do he's doing what they're telling him to do backstage okay Lars Sullivan you, I need you to go beat up our truth like, like by, by your same logic is he racist because he attacked Rey Mysterio seriously shut the fuck up Smarks and go, go fuck your My Little Pony plushie and leave wrestling to the big boys okay shut the fuck up go watch your precious New Japan and leave us the fuck alone so that's my rant on that I'm Please, I hope WWE don't ruin Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan, don't listen to these thin-skinned pussies. You are the man, Lars Sullivan. Keep being a badass. Keep speaking the truth. And I promise you, I and many others will support you, Lars Sullivan. I promise. When Lars Sullivan merch drops on the WWE store, you can bet I'm going to buy some. I support Lars Sullivan, and I hope uh, any people watching this that are real wrestling fans, or are at least casual wrestling fans, I hope you do the same, because he really is like the last hope that we have left if they ruin Lars Sullivan game over they have nobody left so what do you think about all this do you think that Lars Sullivan is racist do you think that the smarks are just being sensitive SJW pussies what do you think of Lars Sullivan do you think he's a good wrestler did you like his debut do you think that he should be pushed and most importantly, if you want me to keep making more wrestling videos, let me know in the comments and leave likes. And if this does well, I'll gladly make more wrestling videos. And I'll see you guys around for the next video.